what's going on there guys we back with another one and we're going to talk about lamar jackson on today guys now lamar we all know about this contract dispute going on i spoke about it yesterday and i gave everybody my feelings on it and um, how hard it is to find a winning quarterback in the NFL. I think they take that for granted. But Stephen A. Smith dropped a big bombshell. We're going to hear from him and uh, Emmanuel Acho and RG3. RG3 and Emmanuel Acho, they both have some interesting takes on the path that Lamar Jackson should take to get his money. But first, man, we got to hear what Stephen A. said because this is very critical. A lot of people thought that he was asking for a guaranteed deal and he wanted over 200 million but Stephen A. Smith said his camp reached out to him specifically and told him that the claims that were being made about the terms of the deal and what he wanted guaranteed and the amounts have all been false he said that um Lamar Jackson's camp said that they actually stopped negotiating at 130 million so they tried to lowball him to the max and that's really not cool. If they tried to really have him sign a $130 million contract, that's really a slap in the face. And it's almost to the point where when that's your first offer, um, that's that's irreparable damages, I feel like. So if that's true, both sides need to move on. But we're going to listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say about it. I'm saying this. Um, I was connected uh, to Lamar Jackson's camp yesterday. Um, and I was absolutely emphatically assured Lamar Jackson has never asked for a fully guaranteed deal. I'm echoing what Lamar Jackson's camp said because they reached out to me personally yesterday. A, they have never asked for a fully guaranteed contract. B, the number that the Baltimore Ravens stopped at was $133 million guaranteed supposedly, according to Lamar Jackson's camp, has stopped at $133 million. But don't tell me that what Kyler Murray got, Lamar Jackson doesn't deserve. Lamar Jackson deserves $200 million guaranteed. Now, RG3 also pointed out that Lamar Jackson is at a crossroads and he really needs to make a definitive decision before going forward because there, this thing has been going on for over two and a half years. And if you all haven't met any common ground at this point, it may be time for both sides to separate. But Lamar needs to put his foot down and tell them, like, I don't want to be back here or you know demand a trade or whatever is the next step because right now they're in contract purgatory right now you know so i i feel what rg3 said this is exactly what he said check it out the ravens are willing to be patient because they want to see what happens with joe burrow and justin herbert and what's going to happen with jalen hurts because if those guys don't get fully guaranteed deals it actually helps them right. in their negotiations with lamar jackson the reason that i said yep. lamar needs to make a decision is because at the end of the day this is about football. Lamar is going to get paid by the Ravens or by somebody else, but he has to make a decision on what that's going to be. Is it going to be in Baltimore or is it going to be somewhere else? Because at the end of the day, that new offense that he has to learn, that's the longevity of his career. Being in the building and being the leader that he is, that I've had the opportunity to witness him in Baltimore for three years be, that's what's going to help his career be elongated and have the best possible outcome. So right now, if he doesn't believe after two and a half years of negotiating with the Ravens that it's going to work out, he's got to put his foot down and say, I don't want to be here anymore. I need to go somewhere else. Otherwise, it will drag out because the Ravens are going to wait as long as they possibly can yeah. so they can continue to prove to him that the Deshaun Watson deal was an outlier. If you want to be the highest paid at your position ever, you usually got to go somewhere to get it. Jalen Ramsey had to go to the Rams to get it. Earl Thomas had to go to the Ravens to get it. Tyreek Hill had to go to the Dolphins to get it. Devontae Adams had to go to the Raiders to get it. A.J. Brown had to go to the Eagles to get it. Roquan Smith had to go to the Ravens to get it. DeAndre Hopkins had to go to the Cardinals to get it. Khalil Mack had to go to the Bears to get it. Joe Tooney, he had to go to get it. Before Buckner had to go to get it. If you want to be the highest paid at your position, you going to have to go. But so Acho's whole thing is that Lamar may have to leave Baltimore to get paid and he may have to go to one of those franchises that's starving right now to get his money just like Deshaun Watson did you know he, he's with the Cleveland Browns and they haven't done anything and that's where he was able to get paid at so 
well, looking at this, man, um, they both, they all, all three guys actually have interesting takes. But the bombshell Stephen A. Smith drop is good to see his side reaching out because uh, the media has controlled this narrative, especially with the dollar amount that he was seeking, as if it was a hundred million extra additional dollars he wanted guaranteed. If he was asking for another figure and what they only want to give him guarantee was a 130. Uh, I don't think anyone can blame him for not taking that deal. You know, he's already been an MVP. They've made the playoffs. You know, only thing we hadn't done is won big. And yeah, I'm, he might not have had his best games in the postseason, but you're there every year. And it ain't like you got him like the best players <laughs> that he could possibly have. You know, he doesn't have a Stefan Diggs like a, a um you know, Josh Allen or somebody, you know, he, it seems like right now he's just judged. They're judging him by what Jalen Hurts just did, what Joe Burrow did the year before. It Honestly, if I'm being honest, it's like he's judged with those two guys. Like, if, if he can't do what they do, then they don't need to pay him. But, you know, I think there's still some upside there with Lamar, so you can't definitively say that, like, he he'll never reach that level, in my opinion. I mean, you, you're going to have to get more on that roster around him. <laughs> you just just point blank, period. You know, he he doesn't have, I mean, if you, if you look at Joe Burrow, he doesn't have like a, um, uh, 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 what's my man name? Not not just Jefferson, because uh, I'm thinking LSU. Uh, what's my other man name? Uh, God, to play with Joe Burrow. The other one that played with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. He don't have no Jamar Chase on his team. He doesn't have an A.J. Brown on his team. You know, he doesn't have those guys. So, um, the way I look at it is he needs a little more leeway. He needs a little more time, man. And I feel like if the Ravens don't retain Lamar Jackson, they can't come to some kind of contract resolution, uh, they're going to be in some trouble next year, man. Because, the, I mean, Emmanuel Acho, I didn't show it in that clip, but he was talking about how Lamar could have sat out this season. And that really would have put the Ravens in a bind, you know. But he went out there and played. And this is why guys don't go out there and play, you know. Um, this is why you see some guys sit out, man. Because in a contact sport like football, um, the way you put your body on the line and some of the long-term effects it's going to have, I, you know, when it comes time for me to get paid, I must make sure that I secure the bag. Because who knows, like, this – who knows what injuries he'll have you know this you, each contract could always be your last i mean the way you view it in football right so why wouldn't he want to get what he can get you know why he's at his healthiest and playing at his at his highest level man but let me know what you guys think in the comments about this don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace